Okay, glad to see you back. All right, so we're still in this keynote uh, diatribe. We've got to uh, get this down to a science. Again, it's got to be second nature, right? Using the keynote family. Revit architecture comes with a default keynote family that allows you to produce both keywords and te text notes using the default keynote txt file. The family name is, is the family name is keynote tag rfa. Excuse me, um, I'm triggering a Dr. Pepper. This family has four types that let you change note styles within the project, as shown in Figure 19.23, which I'm not going to draw right now for you. It's an eight-inch cast place concrete wall with uh, three keynotes assigned to it, and uh, indeed, keynote styles available in the default tag. So what we're going to do is uh, open the tag real quick because it doesn't really go into much more than that. So why don't I do that? Why don't I open the tag so you can see it? So with any new family, you will hit File, New, and you have the option of creating five things, right? So family would be the second one, and you'll have to pick an RFT, right? An RFT, a Revit family template, which will create what? Ready? Anyone? Anyone? I don't see any hands raised. You in the back. You in the back. The one that's sleeping. No, no, no. The one with the case of beer on the boss stool. What will it create? What's this file extension? You know, the one that's calling me an asshole. Come on. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. Right. Exactly. RFA. All right. So, this one. <laughs> um, this is it just happens to be a keynote TXT. So, as you can see, um, we have annotations, right? New family annotations. You can see there's a bunch here, right? We have those that we have those families that we can create template family uh, templates that we can use to create families. But if you look in the root directory of the uh, of this particular uh, directory tree, if we go down to uh, EFG, I see keynotes in here somewhere. It's in here somewhere. It's in here somewhere. If I can find it. Um, unless it's evading me. Hold on. Unless it's making a liar. It could very well be. It could very well be it's making a liar out of me. I don't see it right off the gecko. So hold that thought. Let me just, oh, wait a second. You know what? I know why. Because this isn't a family. This is an annotation symbol. It could very well be it's an annotation symbol. Now, it doesn't actually go into that, but um, it could very well be. Uh, technically, it's a family, but technically it's an annotation family. So it could very well be this annotation symbol, but just hold that thought a second while I collect my thoughts. Um, and let me just go back up and just double check. Mm, let's see here. Uh, English again. See what's in this directory by the fall. Nope. It's not in English one. Let's see if it's in the other English directory. That's the continuation of it. Let's see if this... No, that's metric. All right, so hold on a second. Hold that thought. I didn't create anything. Let's create something else. File, new. Come down here for a second. So we can find it here. I don't see keynote tag in the annotations directory, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's... No, 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 no. It says it comes out of the box with one, but I sure as heck don't see it. Uh, by default... Uh, or you say, it could very well be that I screwed up. Revit architecture comes with a default keynote family that allows you to produce both keynotes and text notes using the default keynote TXT file. The fi I apologize. It's not a template. It's the actual family itself. It doesn't come with a template to create a new family of keynotes. It comes with a default family that you can augment to create any type of keynote that you want. So the asshole in the back was right. I am an asshole. All right. But don't forget, this class is for three-year-olds. In, in 14 years, I might not be. I might evolve and sculpt my persona so that I'm no longer the idiot uh, you may think I am. So I have some time to, to, to fix my, myself. Hopefully you won't have a... Hopefully you won't need dialysis by then. All right, so let me just... Uh, that's not funny, Michael. That's not funny. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's uh, let's load it. Let's go into um, let's go into uh, how do I want to do this. Um, we can do. I think we may be able to do from keynote in the edit dialog box, right? In the edit type dialog box. So if I was to go into annotate, and I was to go into keynote, it doesn't go into this in the text. 
And I was to go into, um, uh, I guess, regular keynote, right? If I was just to go to, let's go into element keynote for a second. And it may say it's in the wrong category. I could load right from here, keynote tag, right? Let's see something here, type. Keynote number, keynote number box large, keynote number box small, and keynote text. And that's, you know what, I found it. Here they are. Here are the four default styles. Keynote number, keynote number box large, keynote number box small, keynote text. But again, I want to see something. If I hit load, that's going to go to the root directory here. C, D, E, F, G, H, I, G, A, K, L. No, it's not here. Go to annotations for a second. And yeah, I told you I don't like scrolling down. Annotations. Hmm. And those annotations are broken down even further, which stinks. Keynote tag, and there it is. That's the keynote tag. I want to open the sale and just dissect it and see how it's how it's created. Because you know me. I'm one of those guys. You're trying to load a family keynote tag which already exists in the project. Well then I really don't want to load it. I want to open it, right? I want to open this keynote tag, because they don't really go into it. They don't go into it at all. So let's open the, the family. Let's go open this RFA, opens a Revit family. Now we'll be able to find it. Look at split, hopefully. Annotations, G, L, uh, keynote, keynote tag. Let's take a peek at this puppy. Let's see what this guy looks like. All right, so it's pretty self-explanatory. Now, this is actually pretty important. It's not self-explanatory, but it's important because it's default to 330 seconds of an inch, right? Now, we talked talk about this a few exercises ago. These are um, annotative texts. This, or I should say this text uh, in Revit is annotative, meaning, anyone, anyone? Reverse, uh, inverse, and directly proportional to the scale factor, right? Directly proportional to the scale factor. So uh, as the scale factor gets lower, the text will get higher and vice versa so that the text maintains its size on the sheet so you can read it. Again, if you're drawing at 8 inch scale equals a foot and you want 8 inch text, it's got to be 12 inches in order for you to see it at 8 of an inch. And I always run back to 8 of an inch. It has to do with 8 bits in a byte uh, in Shannon's, right? It always comes down to computer coding, I guess. But again, this is where you can create uh, other keynote tags with maybe other font styles or if you recall from the, the third video ago, Keynote's displaying full text descriptions. Pella Proline replacement windows, aluminum clad primed architect to choose from factory colors typical. Well, there's where this note that you're going to utilize over and over and over again if you use Pella windows or Anderson windows or some knockoff brand that you bought from uh, Bayonne window and door down there, down the hook, uh, down by First Street Little League. With, that, with all those uh, immigrants that work there and that one uh, shop steward or the manager that screams at all of them. I worked there for a couple of days too. You got to see this guy. What a character. Uh, this Bayonne window manufacturing place downtown by Little League. I go in there, right? And this guy, uh, he's got a chip on his shoulder. He's a salty old, bearded old crab of a man. He uh, gives me this attitude problem. And I'm not even to tell you how, what he said to me. It's just. It goes beyond the realms of, of, of belittlement. In any event, this clown, oh my God, I, I, he must, there must be a high turnover rate over there. What a clown. Right around from the starting point in Bayonne, let me tell you, the older they get, the, the, the more miserable they get. Listen, you can tell him I said so. If you're so miserable, you know what, then, then find something else to do that makes you happy. But don't sit there and belittle every goddamn employee and make them walk around scared shitless of you. Is that how you get more production out of them? Is that your management style? You should be ashamed of yourself. These poor people, the immigrants that are on the assembly line, and this big Salt Gordon's fisherman guy, just walking around with an iron fist, it, it's repulsive. His behavior was beyond reprehensible. It was repulsive. I found it repulsive. And if you see him, tell him I said so. Anyway, this is where we can create those tags that display full text descriptions. In any event, I just wanted to bring that up. Sorry, I just came into my mind. 
I'm speaking my mind. I have that luxury um, with the silver screen in front of me. Who's, who, who cares? Words, uh, actions speak louder than words. Right? Anyway, I went back a few years later and I walked in there and I gave him a piece of my mind and he knew who I was. He remembered what he said and he'll never say it again to me. In any event, I threw it right back in his face. Just to let you know. I have a long memory. You don't get a first you don't get a second chance to make a first impression with me. And I let him know exactly uh, that I didn't forget. Because he deserved it. He deserved to be scolded for his behavior. And I wasn't gonna let him get away with it. Anyway, ordinarily I don't do that unless I get a unless I see them in person and I'm in one of those moods. But uh these poor people. There's 40, 50 employees down there. So it's ridiculous. All right, so anyway, um, yeah. So we have an option of creating all sorts of tags uh, with this tag family. So why don't we um, look forward and uh, see where we're going to be going with this because we have a, a quick one, annotating with tags. Finish that up, get back out of this video, and um, we could uh, go through these four to give you a better idea. But it'd probably be more prudent just to move forward to the next passage because all it's basically doing is putting a box, a small box, or a large box around the keynote tag. And as you can see, um, I believe it wouldn't really necessarily necessitate uh, an exercise or a demonstration. I think you get the point. So you're more than... Um, you're more than capable of doing that yourself, and I, I feel that you can probably perform that exercise yourself. So experiment with the tag family and experiment with the different types in the type selector box so that you can see how each of these behave. Because sometimes um, they may not behave the way that they were intended to behave. In any event, uh, the next video, we're going to be getting with uh, annotating with tags, and uh, which we have been, but we're going to go into a little more granularly and, and then after that, we get into inserting tags. Um, and tags are very, very powerful. Um, and, and, and you can use them in AutoCAD as well, and they're very, very powerful in AutoCAD. And um, to date, in Local 3, uh, I really haven't seen many folks use them other than me. Not patting myself on the back too much. But again, listen, I don't make the rules if, uh, if they're just, some of them are not to speed on it. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. They want to edit text all day long and measure things. Absolutely, from the benchmark all the way up to 60 and 4 and subtract out that distance uh, and then add in the floor distance, that's purely up to you. And again, if that conduit has to move up and down and you've got to go back over all that text, well then listen, it's your progress. There's all, there's, there'll always be a job for you because the manager doesn't know that you're wasting the company's money and, and as long as you're nice to him, and maybe if you blow some smoke up his ass, you'll probably have a job for a long time. You're only wasting the stakeholder's money contractor don't care the money's in the in the mechanics in the field if you're a blundering idiot the only waste is the owner's money or the stakeholder's money the contract is just going to code your time uh, as engineering time anyway what do they care if you're you're doing it the long-handed way so there, it depends again if, if you're a savvy electrical contracting firm or mechanical contracting firm and, and you're looking to streamline efficiencies then maybe you will take another look at that but if not then go ahead Waste to, I mean, someone's losing the money, right? <laughs> someone loses, someone's losing the money. And that, well, that someone is me. And I'm not too thrilled about it. <laughs>